Hello, welcome to Lime War. Today we have a 2v2 on a navy map. So Alpha Team has Sams as blue, Flying Luigi as red, and Bravo Team has Soda Quackers as orange, and the Virgil as light blue. So I'm finding this map quite interesting, because you can see in the bottom right hand corner there's a lot of energy there. And it looks like Alpha Team have managed to claim that for themselves, and someone's starting there straight away. But Bravo Team didn't even go for it. Instead they've gone for islands very close to it. Which makes me think they predicted the enemy would go there and have planned to attack it instead. So first off, we're going to check out Alpha Team. I'm not going to do it as individuals. Maybe I will in the future. Let me know how you'd prefer it. So right now we can see Flying Luigi's got a town set up and he's got Doc straight away. And so has Sam's. They're going for a trade route as a team. We've got two Navy Yards coming out from Sam's. He's already got an energy while He's got two more available to him, but he's got the safest option there. The trade route is now up and running. And up in the north, we can see that Flying Luigi actually has a few more. It seems like Flying Luigi is going to focus on defending the ground while providing some Navy support. But Sam's instead is going to be mostly focusing on the Navy, which is probably a good way to do it because he's got the most access to energy. But we'll see how they play it out. As for Bravo team, let's see if they plan to do what I thought they were going to do. So from the get-go, we can see that we've got three Navy Yards coming out from the Virgil which he may actually struggle to run for quite a while because he's only got one energy well. However, in the center of the map, Soda Quackers has two Navy Yards. He's got a third one actually building there as well. And he's got energy along with storage with air units, which will help him across the map a lot better. And he can be able to support Virgil as well. At this point, we can see that Virgil is actually going to plan to cross over and take over the next island. It does look like they're planning for an early assault. Hello, so welcome to the battlefield. We can see that he is planning to go across. He's got another line command actually going up this way. So he's actually, and so Soda Quackers, planning to take over this section over here. Which, strangely, so is Flying Luigi. He's got units coming up this way. He's got a boat being produced there. And that will take them across as well. So there'll be three players on that main island there. On the other hand, Sam here has units hiding in the forest and hiding in the mountains. They will spot this approach and they will probably be able to deal with it as long as he is paying attention there he is he gets it straight away and they advance in there and they're going to catch him off guard but at the same time his navy is protected flying luigi is literally right on the front here it's probably i probably would have put them here especially as they were instant builds you can hide them in the mountains there So they are kind of exposed where they currently are. So let's have a look what's going on over here. As we said, we've got Flying Luigi with a good ground force he's going for. With just one Navy Yard. The trade route's going to be pretty protected. Can they get to it? They can, actually. So over in this section, we've got both of these players right here. So they've already started claiming the land over here. But Flying Luigi is not far behind them. Soda Quackers is taking his units around, scouting the coastline here. He's joining with his ally to create an extra strong force. We've got cruisers mixed in with destroyers there. So they are a bit exposed to air units, but unfortunately, Bravo Team hasn't actually... Sorry, Alpha Team hasn't actually built any air units. They've spotted the Navy around here. They're both approaching in this section. And they've caught missile ship kind of off guard there, so they're chasing it down. A little transport boat's coming in to block their path a little bit. I'm just checking out what's going on elsewhere. Nothing too much. Now they're going to bring these units around to this side. So he's already under a lot of pressure here. Sam has built two more navy yards. That will help potentially to protect this area. But unfortunately he's going to have to try and get some units out for a long... Uh, very quickly. And try and defend for a long time. And I don't know if he can really do that. Realistically. Up here, though, it looks like Flying Luigi's got a base set up. We've got commandos being dropped in on the northern section of this island here. They can see it on the way, and they are trying to prepare for it. Down in this section, though, they don't seem to want to approach the shipyards. Just stationary outside of it. We'll see if they do change their mind. It looks like Soda Quackers is taking a new approach. I think they're just focused on other places for now. The commandos do land... And they're moving around the island here. Trying to find a location to sort of set up shop. 
Soda Crackers is progressing forward. He will meet Luigi in a minute. They do start to attack the Navy Yards down in the south, and they've managed to destroy those too. They will be moving across this way as well. They've got some submarines in the water there. Where'd they come from? Oh yeah, Navy Yard. Not Navy Yard, sub pen I'm in. And they are desperately trying to protect this trade route. But unfortunately, I don't think Sam's going to be able to do it right now. He's even with the submarines in there, we've got destroyers mixed in with these cruisers. And now they're being bombed in the south by these bombers. They've got extra long range of them over there. And if we let them build up a little bit, they will seriously be able to hit those energy wells. Up in the north, though, Luigi is actually taking advantage and he's pushing forward against Soda. And Soda doesn't actually have... Well, actually... Bravo team doesn't have any production on that island, whereas Alpha team do. Luigi has two factories at least, and they are setting up some other things. Soda was hit with Luigi's navy. They came in to attack. Instead of helping to defend, because there wasn't really much he could do there, he's come in to attack instead. Now the navy down here has been sort of left alone, partly because... I think Soda Quackers is out of energy. He is. And the Virgil, they're out of enemy, uh, energy. So Bravo team are seriously struggling with their energy. But Soda Quackers does have two energy wells now. And was able to defend themselves. That Navy Yard looks like it's been beaten badly. <laughs> But it's not doing too badly, and the air units are coming in to support this section instead now. And they're going to be focusing a bit on the Navy here, so they're going to take out two units potentially. And if not, the Navy will. And that's if Soda Quackers can keep up with that harassment. He does have a fair amount of energy now, so he should be okay. But taking out the sub pen, they took away the trade route from Alpha Team already. And they managed to get cruisers right into the back here, but we now have air units at play. So these air units will be able to do a fair amount of damage here, because these cruisers do have anti-air turrets, but they're not very good in comparison to most things. In comparison to anti-air things. But they can defend themselves. Over here we've got a bit of a cruiser fight going on, supported by air. And transport boats rushing in to try and get onto the land here, which they succeed. Luckily Soda's already got some defences in place, but there just isn't really that much to worry about. And he is just going to try and go around them. He's rushing around. But it's not too much of a problem with the air and the sea in support there already. Up in the north section we have a cruiser there that managed to take out one of the factories, but there's still a few barracks on the lines there, and they are going to be able to push through in this section. We do have one barracks down here now, and Soda jumped over this island with a transport and commandos, and he's now been able to take over this section here. Strikers are on the move now. They're going to try and take out any reinforcements coming in for the... Navy from Soda Quackers. I'm just going to have a quick look at the economy for this game. So Sam has 300. He's not doing very good, but he is struggling down here with a massive defense that he's been trying to pull off. And it looks like Virgil's actually taken over that section of his island there. Whereas Flying Luigi has 700. Soda has only 400 as well, but he hasn't really been able to leave his island either. And the Virgil is also struggling in the same regard. So Alpha Team are actually still ahead when it comes to economy. And that's mostly because of this middle island here. The cruiser over here is trying to block the transports. He manages to actually take it out. But some units did manage to get on before they did. They're trying to set up a defense as quick as they can. But most of this army is artillery. So that defense isn't really going to do too much. Just slow them down a little bit. Virgil's trying to get to this section here. He's just getting a couple of extra territories. As he has over here and here as well. He is definitely 
not forgetting to expand and he's doing pretty well there. So I assume his economy has gone up a bit. It's just 500, it's not too bad. Got a navy chase going on over on this section. There's lots of tiny skirmishes going on all over the map at this point. Though there is a main focus on land in the center here. Which Luigi is taking slowly away from them. A town that's nearly just, literally just finished its docks is now under some serious threat here from Luigi. And Soda is desperately trying to defend it with the bombers coming in. And it looks like they're going for this energy well up here. Soda needs that extra energy, I think. Let's have a quick look at his energy. He's doing alright for energy, actually. He's not too desperate for it, but his, the other people are. I think he's hoping to catch one off guard there, just like out in the open. Down here, though, it looks like this is going to be where the Virgil wants to try and push at some point. However, Luigi has come in to help defend this section. Does not want to lose this area. And there's a lot of air units here as well. So as long as Sam's can actually run those air units, they will do a good job at defending that section. Cruisers came in with a destroyer to try and take out this Navy Yard, which they did succeed at. But they are being chased down now by a few units. Mostly missile ships by the looks of it. But two cruisers have now joined in, so they're not going to be able to try and get in there again. Luckily, they don't need to, I suppose. They did take it out, but there are they want to get to this side too. It looks like uh, Luigi has managed to actually take full control of this island now. And there is a trade route on this island too, so this will probably be his next target. He's trying to sneak more units in, he keeps managing to get in there, and I think he might actually take it out. He's trying to escape now, but he doesn't actually manage to finish off that navy yard. Which is unfortunate, but he does get taken out. Some more navy in the back area here. There's a missile boat, which is actually Alpha Teams. Um, I don't know what was actually destroyed there. I kind of missed it. And we've got just a random bomber over here trying to do as much damage as it can, but the missile ships will take it out. Soda Quackers has waved the white flag. He's not content on playing any further. It looks like Luigi has been harassing him too much. But the Virgil is still continuing at present. And there you go, he's gone now as well. Let me know what you think they could have done better. I feel like they should have engaged in that bottom section of the island much earlier. And tried to push in. Maybe even if it wasn't the bottom section, it might have been somewhere else. But to just take control over it, to stop the energy usage. But anyway, let me know what you think. I'll see you in the comments. And feel free to check out one of the two videos on screen right now. If you click on one, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.